Hello, you beautiful people. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lucy Stevenson, but you can call me Luce because we're all friends here. If you are new here, please don't forget to hit subscribe, give this video a thumbs up because it really helps out my channel and turn that notification bell on. Today we have a really exciting video. We're going to be getting straight into the Revolution Pro and Marilyn Monroe collection. I did a poll on the community tab and said, what would you rather see first? The Bratz um, Christmas collection that's came out or a review of this and this is what's won. So let's just get straight into it because I've had some technical problems. I've been sat for two hours waiting for my camera and my laptop to sort themselves out. So we're gonna try and get through this as quick as possible because it's already quarter past eight and I wanna get this video up for you as soon as possible. So if there's anything in particular that you're interested in in this collection, Revolution have done a lot of different sets. So there's like an eye set, there's a complete collection set, there's a lip set, there's an iconic set. Um, as well so have a little look to see if there's certain things that you want so that you can save some money but let's just get straight into it so let's start with the little cute bag so this retails for eight pound this is the revolution pro and marilyn monroe makeup bag it's like a velvety pink bag and then on the inside it just looks like this it'll be easy to clean so that is just what the little bag looks like very nice the other accessory in this collection is a little compact mirror that just looks like this. This retails for £8 and I know it is bougie in regards to it being £8 but it's actually really, really nice. So I feel like if you were into compact mirrors or if you were into Marilyn Monroe then you would really like this one. It has like the little gems on the front and on the back it just has the Revolution Pro and Marilyn Monroe thing and it has like a little clip here so you squeeze it in and then it opens up the little compact mirror. So it depends if you like to use them or not. Um, and whether you're a fan of Marilyn Monroe, then that might be up your street. So that is the little compact mirror. And the rest is makeup. Um, so we have three different eyeshadow palettes in this collection. We have a highlighter, an eye set, and then also two lip sets. So we're gonna test as much as possible as I can today in this video. That's why I put my base on whilst my technology was having its little meltdown. <laughs> so this is just what the large palette looks like. So this retails for £20, which is expensive, but Revolution Pro is the more luxury expensive brand from Revolution. And obviously it also is a collab too. So it's entirely up to you whether you think it's worth it or not. This is what the packaging looks like. This is beautiful, like all the crystals on the front. And then we have inside, we've got 16 different eyeshadows and this is what it looks like. It is stunning, like so, so, so nice. It is very, very shimmer heavy, which you all know I always like to comment on, but we only have three mattes in here, which is, ooh, a bit focuses, it's this color here, this color here, and then this color here, which I'm really glad that this is a matte because it's like the darkest one in the collection. We've got some gorgeous like true glitter um, eyeshadows in here as well. So we've got quite a lot. This one looks beautiful as well. It looks really, really, really nice. But yeah, this is just what the palette looks like. So like I said, that retails for £20. We also have two little quads. So these just look like this. We have pink crystal and we also have white pearl. The packaging for these again are beautiful. These retail for £10 each. So the pink one just looks like this. This is pink crystal and these are full shimmer palettes. So if that's not your thing, you might want to skip this, but it's a full shimmer palette. Oh, beautiful. And then we also have this one, which is very Marilyn Monroe. So this is the, what you called the white pearl palette. And then this is what this one looks like on the inside. Beautiful. So like I said, they retail for £10 one way around, £10 each. <laughs> then we have the highlighter. So this one retails for £12. So this is the crystal highlighter. This is stunning. However, it only comes in one shade and it's very, very, very light. So not everyone's gonna be able to, to use this. This is what it looks like. Oh. It's been so hard not to swatch these. I am so excited to try this. So yeah, just wanted to make you aware that obviously it is very light, so it's not gonna be one that everybody can wear. So just thought I'd point that out. Um, we also have a eye kit. This is a mascara and eyeliner set, and this retails for £12. The packaging of the mascara is very funky. So this is what the mascara looks like, and then we also have the eyeliner which just looks like this so that I don't think that's too bad for £12 for mascara and eyeliner if I'm honest so 
yeah that is the little eye kit and then we have the lip sets oh i don't know how much these these retail for 15 pounds so you get a lip liner and you also get a lipstick inside here so we have a iconic nude one and we also have a marilyn red because it would have been offensive not to have a red one with this one inside the lip kit they all come like packaged like this with like the nice little tissue paper around it and then the match obviously the whole collections we have the lipstick and the lip liner so the lip liner obviously is a nice creamy red one so it just looks like this it does actually say on the packaging it's a satin matte lipstick and a creamy lip liner set so you know it's definitely going to be a nice creamy one and then this oh, it is sparkly it's beautiful i'm really excited to see what this is actually like on the lips like is it is it sparkly like that is it normal like i want to know what it's like is it like a top coat so then when you actually use it it then goes does it just make it look really really shiny i'm really excited to, to find out and then we also have obviously the iconic nude one so same thing again in the cute little packaging inside they do have a lip set actually so you get both of these for 24 pound instead of 30 in case you just wanted to get the lip sets so see this is the nude one so we have the nude lip liner we compare them next to each other and then we have the lips this one doesn't look i mean it's beautiful but it doesn't look as beautiful as the red one um but this is just what it looks like so you can see this one has a darker shimmer on it this one looks like it's a top layer whereas the red one looks like it's part of the lipstick so that's why i was like hmm i wonder what it actually performs like on the lips instead so yeah that is the full collection let us get straight into the tutorial so i've just put on a little bit of the p louise base in the shade room number two and then just tap that in place with a brush and i'm going to go in with a pixie fluffy brush i'm going to do a very very just natural kind of nothing really there eye because i feel like that just goes with the collection very very well so i'm going to go in with this matte brown here this is called beautiful thing and i'm gonna start by oh she's pigman here i'm gonna start by putting that i had to feel my microphone wasn't turned on then but it is <laughs> i'm gonna put this all through the crease so i've just blended that through and underneath as well and i've noticed when i blended it out it's actually gone more of like a like a pinky color than a brown which I don't mind, but I just thought I'd let you know because obviously it doesn't look the same colour that it looks like in the actual palette itself, but it's cute. I'm going to take the Morphe M139 brush and I'm going to go in with the darker shade in the palette, which is No Angel. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to focus this, who probably guessed it anyway, but in the outer part of my eye, just here and a little bit into the crease and i'm going to go into this little palette which is the pearl one for the shimmer for my lid i had a little play around with some of them on my hand and they are beautiful but this one i mean it's me so you can imagine this one really caught my eye so i'm going to go in with this one which is this one here it is stunning so i'm just going to take that on my finger as always and pop this pop this right on my eye and just like that beautiful perfection oh, that's so nice so i'm gonna go back through i'm gonna blend more into this like outer corner blend a little bit of the crease a bit more i'll match the other eye up what i will say about this eyeshadow like the shimmery one it has a lot of fallout which normally wouldn't be a problem because oh no i always do my eyes first and then my face and it wouldn't have been a problem tonight if I didn't have so many technical issues which is why I put my base makeup on first just because I was kind of like what else can I do whilst I'm waiting for my camera and laptop to fix so yeah it wouldn't normally be a problem but I just thought I'd mention it if you are kind of the opposite to me and I was like to do your eye makeup afterwards she's a messy one so now I want to try the eye set so I want to go in with the eyeliner first so this is a felt tip one, which if you know my channel, you know it's my favourite kind of eyeliner because I just find it so much easier to apply. So let's see how this goes. So I'm going to put this along the lash line. I think that's the best that I'm going to get. It was no most ever I was going to try and do the wing on camera. <laughs> I'm like this, like dead close to the mirror trying to do it. That was really, really easy to apply. I honestly would say... 
I'm gonna say this big claim. Yeah, I'm gonna say it. I'm just gonna say it. This is the best eyeliner that I've ever tried from Revolution. And I think it's because it's a felt tip one because the other one that they have, oh, then again, I do really like this. I really, really like the Renaissance one. However, this one, I feel like it's just because this is a felt tip one, I'm gonna show you it, but it has a very, 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 very fine tip. Um, whereas this one, I don't know what it is. I don't know if I just get on better with the chunky tip. Well, the chunky tip, but this was just so much easier to apply. This is like, do you remember when I used to absolutely rave about the Soap and Glory one? I used to say, oh, it's really, really good if you're a beginner because it's not too pigmented. This is like that, however, it has the pigmentation. So if you aren't very good at it, this will be one that I feel like you'd get on really, really well with because it's really easy to use. So I'm gonna let that eyeliner dry before I try the mascara just so I can curl my lashes. And let's try the highlighter next. So it's quite a pricey highlighter. And like I did say before, it is not very exclusive because obviously, well, it isn't exclusive because there's one shade and it's really, really light to the point where I don't know if it might be even too, too light for me. Like it is absolutely stunning though. Like I don't even know my camera will focus on it. Will you focus on it? There, you can see the shimmer in it there. It is blind and it has like this really, really strong, like look at that, strong shimmer through it. So I don't even know it's gonna be too light for me, but we will soon, ooh, we will soon find out. I feel like this would be a really, really nice topper on top of your highlighter. It is definitely, a different type of highlight what, than what I would go for. I'm normally like a gold kind of highlighter girl. So for me, oh, pretty. <laughs> it is blinding. If you don't want a chunky glitter highlighter either, you're not gonna like this because it is just straight up shimmer. So for nights out and stuff, stunning. I think this is absolutely beautiful. However, I would prefer for it to be just like a bit more warmer, a bit more golden because if I do go on a night out, I'm going to be more tanned, so it wouldn't be one that I'd be able to use. Oh, look at that big spot. Um, wouldn't be one that I'd be able to use because I feel like it'd be maybe just like a little bit too light for me. I don't know. I think for a re for a nice top of one, it'd be really good. Or if you are more into these kind of highlighters, definitely one for you. But I wish that they brought out a couple of shades in this, um, just to include everybody and also to have a different variation of colours as well. So yeah, that is the highlighter. Let's try one of the lip sets whilst we're waiting for the eyeliner to dry as well. So we'll try the nude one because I want to finish off with the red one on. So let's see. Oh, it's definitely really creamy. So this is just with the lip liner on. It's a really, really nice colour. And then let's see what it's like with the nude glittery lipstick on the top. Let's swatch this because I want to see if the glitter doesn't help that my hand is full of shimmer but I want to see if like the glitter comes through. Okay I feel like for the nude one it's definitely just a top coat like a over layer of, of shimmer because nothing really came out on that. Well, actually no it's definitely got some oh it smells funny it's definitely got some shimmer <laughs> try it dark while doing that definitely got some shimmer that goes yeah so you can see, but it has a shimmer that's definitely going onto my lips. So then this is just what it looks like. When you apply it, like you can see in the light sometimes, it does reflect a little bit of the glitter, like the shimmer that's in it, but not much. So I do feel like this is definitely an overlay because when you actually start using it, there's no shimmer in it. So it is just an overlay for the nude one. But I don't know if I'd want like straight up shimmer like that in... The lipstick anyway i don't know this is just what the the nude set looks like i'd love to know in the comments down below which one you prefer like do you prefer the nude or are you going to prefer the red let me put the the red on for you so let's start with oh my god <laughs> carry me let's start with the lip liner <laughs> sexy <laughs> so i'm just put on some of the lip liner just in the perimeter is that the right word i don't know and um, we're going to go in with the sparkly red one. Oh, this is beautiful. I don't even want to use it just in case it is just a top layer. Then it's going to go and it's not going to be oh, as beautiful anymore. So it's doing a very similar thing to what the other one was doing where it comes off a little bit shimmery but then the more that you kind of apply the lipstick the more it just kind of blends in and you just kind of see it every now and again slightly enlightened but not like a full on glittery lip. 
And then this is what the red looks like. It is stunning. And look how white it makes your teeth look. Ding! <laughs> okay, so yeah, the glitter is definitely just an overlay, just to let you know. But I think this is beautiful. I think it's really, really, really nice. So let's try the mascara. So as always, I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. I forgot to show you, actually, this is what the brush looks like. So it's a very funky brush. Ooh, I think I'm gonna like this already. So straight away from my first time trying it, I can tell I'm gonna like this. It is really, really lengthening. So if you struggle with like little short lashes, try this because can you see the difference between the two? I literally have one coat of mascara on. If you struggle as well with like heavy lashes, there's barely, I don't wanna say barely any product because there is product on the brush, but it's not like, say for instance, like I love Benefit mascaras, but I have to wipe them off and until they dry up a little bit for it to be like the best mascara for me. I don't have to do this with this. It must have like a really good stopper. So this is the finished look. What I will say about this mascara is if you want like a separating, a lengthening, really, really black mascara, this will be perfect. If you want one for more thickness and volume, you probably won't like this because it is more about separating, but hopefully you can see it in my lashes when I'm looking <laughs> straight at the camera. Yeah, this is the whole collection. I would love to know what you think down below. Obviously, it has been out for a couple of days, so I'd love to know, have you picked anything up or are you going to now that you've seen this video? Thank you so much for voting on the poll and helping me to pick what video to put up tonight because honestly, it helps me so much. I filmed this so quick. It is now nine o'clock that I'm finishing off this video. Check me out. <laughs> um, so yeah, if there's anything that you want to know, then please just ask in the comments down below because I know I have done this as a very, very quick, snappy video and I haven't been able to do swatches just because I had technical breakdown. So it means I've only got one video filmed today and I actually wanted to film my Bratz Collection reveal. I also wanted to film the Revolution Pro Rockstar um, Advent Calendar Unboxing, a Real Techniques Advent Calendar Unboxing and also a Rev uh, Revolution Friends um, advent calendar unboxing and I'm not going to have time to do any of that now because I'm going to edit this video and get it up for you straight away. Um, so yeah, that is the whole collection. It's entirely up to you whether you feel like it's worth your money. I'd love to know what you think down below and yeah, thank you and I'll hopefully see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to be doing a full Rats collection reveal and then I think maybe the day after I might test the brand new Makeup Obsession stuff. What do you think? Please let me know. Um, if there's anything else that you want me to do, Please let me know, but I do have a full calendar of stuff anyway. Tomorrow for the Bratz video, I'm just going to do a reveal video. I'm just going to do an unboxing. Um, so yeah, if you want me to do like a video test in that, I have no idea how I'm going to do it because there's four palettes, there's a full lip vault. I don't know how best to do it. I don't know how to do a reveal video. In my head, I think the best way to do it would be a reveal video, a video testing the four palettes and doing four different looks in one video. Um, and then also a video of like lip swatches of the lip vault. However, I don't have three days of uploads spare. So if it is something that you want to see, you want me to do it like that, I will just do it for you um, like that anyway. It's totally fine. I'll move things around. Um, but please just let me know if there's a different way of doing it that you can think of because I don't know how else to do it. And it's just going to be too much doing all of that in one video. I don't really know what to do. Let me know, please help me out. Um, if you haven't already, please go follow me on Instagram. It's just Luce Stevenson. I have started posting on there. Um, I've scheduled some posts to go up as well. So I've just posted a, video, uh, a picture right this minute. It's literally just gone live there. So I'll hopefully we'll see you in tomorrow's video. I love you so much. Thank you for being patient. Um, yeah, love you. Bye. <laughs>